Hey everybody, it's the Hardy Girl um, with something really great to show you for your 18 inch dolls, particularly if you have uh, Julie Albright or Ivy or any doll that you'd like to be a 70s doll. Okay, something that's always bothered me about the Julie Albright collection is she never had a TV. Now, I know a lot of you um, have uh, made your own TVs for your dolls, and usually they're flat screen plasma looking things. Um, you know, because most people do have flat screen TVs in this day and age. However, in the 70s, uh, there were no flat screen TVs or plasma TVs that hung on the wall. And they had big console TVs that sat down on the floor. Um, they were like big box things. And sometimes they had, you know, a, a stereo and a um, uh, record player and a radio inside as well. And it was this great big thing that sat on the floor. Or they had the smaller portable ones. Uh, that sat on your bookshelf or your entertainment center um, on a tabletop or whatever. Um, and I really wanted a 70s style TV for Julian Company. So I decided to enlist the help of uh, Custom Woodworks on Etsy.com as well as my friends at InviteByVoice.com. And here's what we came up with. Okay, look at that. That is a 70s style TV, okay? And as you probably have guessed, I'm not sure if you know, on the screen here is the Brady Bunch, okay? And this TV has some really cool features, um, if I do say so myself. I didn't make it, but I directed the parameters to make it. So, you know, it was made to my specifications, okay? Um, so one thing that it can do is light up to make it look like, you know, when you turn on your TV, it reflects and it lights up. And that's going to be a little difficult here on camera. There we go. Now you can see it a little better. It lights up. Okay. And there's a little light down at the bottom that you can turn it off and on. Okay. And so the other great feature that I love a lot is sound. This TV has sound. Look at that. This is a... Uh, from InviteByVoice.com, the five button sound recorder. Okay, it's not like the box like the radio was, but this is like a five button recorder. And um, it's got a speaker on this side. The buttons are on this side and they play the TV themes. Now, the screen is interchangeable, so it can come out. And I'm not gonna do that right now because I've made several recordings of this and um, it's a little difficult to get back in on camera because it takes a little finagling. So I'm not going to take out the screen. I will, however, show you the other screens that you can put inside. Okay, I'm put this down. Um, besides the Brady Bunch, I have the Partridge Family, Julie's favorite show because it's got Keith Partridge. You've seen that poster in her room. Uh, this is Land of the Lost, um, a 70s Saturday morning live action TV show about dinosaurs and things. Um, this is a PBS TV show, uh, kids show called Zoom, one of my favorites, and I love that show a lot. And The Six Million Dollar Man. This was for Danny. But if any of you have ever read Good Luck Ivy, uh, Julie's friend Ivy, uh, they were at her house watching TV, watching The Brady Bunch, and Ivy's brother comes in and changes the channel and turns on The Six Million Dollar Man. So I thought that would be kind of cool, but Danny actually... You know, a little boy in the 70s would really like that TV show. So the screens can interchange. And as I said, I'm not going to do that right now. And then you can push the buttons in the back for sound. So I'll play the Brady Bunch since that's the screen that's up now. And each button has about 45 seconds of sound. Okay. They cut off a little bit because I thought they were supposed to be a minute. I was wrong. <laughs> so, and if you've ever seen the Brady Bunch here on YouTube, you probably heard this theme song before. And anybody who has uh, Me TV or um, I think it's on TBS some of the time too, a Hallmark uh, plays the Brady Bunch sometimes. So, about forty-five seconds of sound, and I will change it because. As soon as you push another button, it will change. So I'll play the Partridge Family. And that would be this one. OK. 
Okay. That's the that's the Partridge family. And then I think I will switch it to the $6 million man. So you can even switch it in the middle. So as soon as you push one, the other one stops. Okay. There is no way to stop it from playing, though. It's no off switch. Okay. Um, now I'll play zoom. Yeah, see that? And if you are curious about any of these shows, I think all of them right now are available in some form on YouTube. So if you're not sure what these shows are, you can, you can uh, look them up yourself. And I will do Land of the Lost now. And that's on this one. Okay. And this is the last one, so it'll play for a minute. I'm going to put the TV down for a second. But actually, no, I will show you the inside again because the wires are quite long, so I uh, twist tied them and taped them down so that you couldn't see them through the screen because when they were just hanging out, you could see the reflection when the light was turned on. And there's like, you know, a slit on this side and a slit on that side. And the picture is between two pieces of plexiglass. I laminated these um, and uh, Custom Woodworks uh, sent me uh, prints of them so they would fit. No, it stopped. Custom Woodworks sent me prints of them so they would fit in the TV. I laminated them with a little backing tape. Uh, so they won't bend or get damaged and then I can change the pictures at will and push the buttons to play the theme and I think that's pretty cool you know so for all I know Be Forever could be coming out with one of these I have no idea but I, I didn't know that I really really wanted a TV now I this one is a little smaller than I thought it was going to be I thought it was going to be like a larger floor model console as it turns out it's more of the kind that you maybe put on your tabletop but that's all right um, as long as it's like a 70s style TV. I did not want a flat screen, and I'm sorry, I know that, you know, you guys like flat screen TVs, but I tend to like being historically accurate when it comes to, um, my dolls. So, and the 70s dolls, um, I like to be accurate with that. So anyway, so that is what I have, and I know that Custom Woodworks has one more of these on Etsy if you want them. Now, the sound is not included. Um, if you want the sound, please go to invitebyvoice.com and try their five button one. They will send you this, uh, the five button thing and a programmer that you can plug into your computer, download the sounds in an MP3, MP3 excuse me, or WAV file of your choice and you can do your own. Or if you even want to um, buy it and do current shows, and that's your choice too. Um, you can ask Custom Woodworks to print whatever ones you want, send him the files, he'll make prints for you. Uh, this was $40. Um, yeah, a little steep, but it was a custom job, which is why it's a little steep. Um, and American Girl, if they made one, would probably charge you 50 or 60 uh, That's the reality of it. So, um, you know, for 40 bucks and a custom job, good deal. The sound uh, was, I believe, about $8 from invitebyvoice.com. Uh, the five button modules were like, uh, yeah, $8. Not bad, you know. And you could have like a really cute um, TV that actually plays for your 18 inch dolls. Not, and, and not only li that light up, because I think the American Girl flat screen that they had out um, early 2005, I think it was. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure that you will. <laughs> um, they have one and there's lights up and it changes a couple of screens. However, it does not have sound. So if you wanted sound, you could get invite by voice.com. And what I did was the buttons actually did have sticky tabs on them. However, with the rough wood inside this thing, uh, they came off. So what I did was I put a little duct tape on them just to stick them back on and they're staying on pretty well actually. And then I put a little piece of uh, duct tape behind the speaker as well. So. Um, so that's pretty much it guys uh, so if you want something like this for your doll there's one listed left on Etsy um, he has told me that if there is a demand he will make more so if this is something you want uh, contact custom woodworks on Etsy 
also order um, the sound modules from invitebyvoice.com and that's pretty much it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's been informative. Um, hope it's something that maybe you like. Um, I thought this was a good idea and I'm glad that I thought of it and thank you very much Custom Woodworks for doing this for me. Thanks to my friends at invitebyvoice.com. Kevin, you're the best. And um, after I'm done talking, I will show you pictures of uh, Julie and Sunny uh, sitting in the TV room, eating some Jiffy Pop, drinking some soda, and watching some Friday night TV. Have a wonderful day, wonderful night. God bless, and be safe. Bye, everybody. Thanks.